welcome back to another installment uh, of Adventure Bound. So we're out here with uh, Jason, who is the owner there you go. of the boat with the troll bar. You guys would have seen it a few times before, affectionately known as Balls Deep after we almost drowned in it 30 k's offshore. <laughs> That's a whole story in itself. Uh, anyway, we're out here today and we're gonna chuck some pots out, hopefully find a couple of crabs. Pretty late season on the crabs, so we'll just see how we go. Trying to get a feed together of muddies before the wet season well and truly kicks in. And then we're gonna drop some baits and flick some plastics. Hopefully find some red and some gold in the form of uh, mangrove jack and golden snapper. So that's pretty much the rough plan for the day. It's gonna be a pretty long one. Didn't bring any food except for what I'm holding in my hand, so We'll just keep the good times flowing. Try and find a few fish while we're doing it. Thanks for tuning in. Here we go, the first little zone for the first crab pot. So how I like to personally chuck my pots in is I like to get as deep into the mangrove as I can. Yeah. Uh, and that way you're chucking your pots right up in where the uh, crab's food source and stuff is because they feed on like all the little shellfish, the periwinkles, all that type of stuff. Especially on the incoming tide, that's generally where I find them. Uh, right up in the mangrove area so we're just gonna head as deep into here as we can and we'll chuck this pot out fingers crossed we get a crab or two out of it and this is the beauty of having a small boat I wouldn't be able to do this in my 5.3 what do you reckon mate right here Yep, I'm in reverse. You? Oh no, I've done myself a mischief. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's not my boat, is it, big fella? <laughs> so another thing I like to look for when I'm chucking my pots out is these kind of little drains. Uh, which the crabs use as highways pretty much to get in and out of an area pretty quick because obviously a crab trying to move through mangroves is not going to be very efficient. So that's why I generally like to chuck my pots in areas like that as well. There we go, we're getting right up into it now. Oh, I think just here, yeah. Send her home. <laughs> there we go, first fish. Been watching those little queenies feed under this tree for a while. And it just came within a range. Uh, we're about to crash as well, mate. <laughs> no pressure. Two things at once. <laughs> Yo be yo dee. Now, is any mind me, fella? Boom. So, here we go. The first pot that we threw out. Let's see if we have a crab. They've been in for an hour and 45 minutes. 
but they were in for the change of the tide. So there was a bit of a uh, period of time where there was no water movement, which I generally find you want to have a bit of water movement when you've got your pots out. That is a bloody nice buck, mate. That is monstrous. That's, look at the cross on him too. That's awesome. What a good start. <laughs> what do you know? That's what's up. Woo! Like I was saying, I really prefer to put my pots as tight as I can into the mangroves on the high tide because that's where the, uh, the crabs are going for their food. And then when it drops, I'll obviously move them further out. But that is a ripper start. I'll tell you what, that's unreal. Yeah, that's really good. I'll deal with him, mate. Mm. There we go, last pot. So, end of season crabbing doesn't appear to be that good. <laughs> Who would have uh, thought? <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, we'll the mouth there. yeah, we'll chuck him in a bit of deeper water on the mouth because uh, the tide is going out. So, we don't want to lose those pots, obviously. Catfish, catfish, catfish. <laughs> oh! That's a nice snapper, mate. <laughs> yeah, hands on. That's a nice snapper. Yeah, he's coming on. He's coming. Yeah. Bloody nailed that too. Mate. Rodney Rod Holder, man. Right How good is that? Nothing yeah. wrong with that little goldie. You beauty. Uh, do you want to just get a supplies? Out of it's Jason. <laughs> Nice fish, mate. <laughs> uh, uh, <good> day. <laughs> oh, I love it. I was in the water for like two seconds. Oh, I literally watched you put it down and then bang, bang, bang. Yep. See ya. Again. Oh, you know what? Snake. just got me mate. I'm off. No, you got me. <laughs> I suppose that's what I deserve. <laughs> really? Baby snap. Baby gold. You send him out? Yeah, hundred percent. I'm fishing, mate. I'm also getting snagged at the same time. Yeah, you've got too much going on, dude. I'm on, mate. Nice. Oh, is he? That's big. That's big. Uh, it's going. <laughs> okay. That's big, man. Big, 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 yeah, yeah, assist. Assist? I disagree. Got a net? Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <Got it. laughs> oh no, wind that in. I'm gonna get on the other. Dude, yeah. help. Wind that. Wind that in? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna tighten up on him a bit here. Yeah. I think he's just bricked me, man. Hey? He's just bricked me. He's found a hole to go into. Yeah, go over to him. Dude! I'm thinking Queensland Groper. What are you thinking? Yeah, I'm thinking Groper. One big gropey boy. I didn't know if that was a fish at first, man. Because it just felt like bottom, eh? Get over the top of him. He's got me on something here. I can feel it. Oh! Queensland guy, though. 
every day of the week. Oh, I can't believe giant it. Giant fucking rock cod, man. Yeah. No, nah, I'm just gonna sit here and be depressed for a minute. Well, I've been missing every single fish. I just dropped that really nice one that was probably uh, one of those giant gropers. What are they called? Queensland groper. Queensland groper. Got absolutely cleaned up. Jason just landed this nice pan size Goldie. I think he'll come home. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah, well, good size, good fillets. He's coming. Is that another nice snapper? <laughs> Oh, what do you yeah, look. Yeah, no, I reckon bring him. Yeah, we're not going to get much bigger than that. Uh, or there's bigger down here, mate. No, 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 no. Well, I'll take him and then, yeah. Yeah. You're catching all the snapping today, mate. I'm just too busy rigging up after bloody yeah, losing a Queensland Grover. Well, uh, in the bucket. Good fish. I think it's a grana. Big hockey. Hey, is that for an hockey, eh? It's decent grana, man. Did you get pole axe, mate? Oh, yeah, nice snap. Oh, grana overboard. Snapper in the boat. Yeah, no, you. Look, mate, I reckon, yeah, we got another three positions to fill. Your call. That's a bloody pretty nice grunner, actually. Uh, yeah. Nice. This one's bloody gut hooked. You see, gut hooked, is he? Yeah. We were going to let that snapper go because we've got a couple, but looks like he's gut hooked. So, bad day for him. Uh, nice, a grunter. Rodney Rodholder getting the job done while I was flicking a little prawn around, trying to drop another Queensland groper. See you, buddy. You know what? You know what this called for, right? Oh, okay, you're actually on. Well, wow. he's going on. Yeah, send him back. I'm going to snake your spot. Yeah, right. Well, judge from you, you can have that spot. It's a good spot, mate. I'm going to get a made of Jew. Inquiries. Tiny. Very small. Might take the world record for smallest fish. If you had a decent sized snapper or a yeah, jack, it'd it just inhale body. it. He'd just inhale it if he was a decent sized fish. Yeah, there you go. Another little goldie. Yeah, yeah, mate, I agree. Send him back in the drink. In the D rink. Don't. Oh, oh. There we have it. My first golden snapper for the day. You've, yeah, right. you've only caught about 20 of these. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I reckon he's pretty small though. Oh yeah, he's going back in the drink. Yeah. Nah, no need to keep him. Come on, buddy. There we go. A nice little snap. See you later, mate. Go on. There we go. First snapper on the prawn, mate. He's an all right little snap. What are you thinking? No. Oh, actually, He's yeah. a touch on the small. I yeah, think we'll yeah, let him go. Give him back to his mother. Yep. Get that prawn out of his gob. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Go on. See ya, mate. Oh, mate.
took that one. Fucking. Another nice snap, mate. You are, yeah, look, I think he's good enough. Yeah. He's, he's got another few centimetres on the one we just let go. You're the bloody snapper king today, aren't you? There's good days and there's bad days. Look, we know these snapper aren't anything red hot, but they're nice estuary sized fish, considering that we're just getting them off a couple of uh, rock bars here. Woo! So, you know, we're only had three each. We put a few of them together and we've got a nice feed for a couple of people. Yeah. Hey. Nice fish, mate. Because I'm pretty sure we're you, on six. You're actually kidding. That's a really nice snapper. I didn't even get any of it. Here I am digging around in the esky trying to find another beverage. <laughs> Jason's just been hooking up the snapper all day. Do you want to... Another really nice estuary yeah, so size nice. golden snapper. So he'll be coming home. We'll do a quick count. I'm pretty sure. At six. I think that's five, but we'll do a count. I'm, I'm going six. All right. I'm here on six. We'll do a count. We'll see how we go. Anyway, he's coming home all the same as long as we don't have over six. Both pretty sore. Both pretty sure we don't. Uh, nice fish. On you, mate. You've been carrying the team today, that's for sure. Oh, somebody's got to. Yeah, someone's got to. I've been drinking all the beer and you've been catching all the fish. So, oh, and there's still the bloody crabs yet. Yeah, still got to go check the pots. They've been in for a few hours now. Uh, who knows? we got one nice crab still, but look, got a few nice snapper in the boat all the same. Let me get a fish or are you just going to catch them all, big fella? What are you calling, mate? I reckon it's a codly. You reckon it's a cod? Well, I'm going to agree with you because it's fighting like an absolute wet sock. No? Oh, Snap! <laughs> You've been catching snapper all day. Huge. On the trawl. Yeah, on the trawl. Um, what are your thoughts? He's a reasonable size little fish. We can let him go, get some good karma going, or we can... Uh, just take him home and that's our second six and let everything else go. It's your call, man. Well, he's spitting up some bloody... I think he's hooked yeah. in the mouth. We can probably let him go, but yep. he just he's pissed off. Oh! Wow! Yep. Out of the way, out of the way. Oh, my God. So this is a hard body. Wasn't even moving, man. <laughs> oh, that's a cod. <laughs> I was just sitting still. Skating. <laughs> oh, actually, man, I don't know. This thing's bloody hooked in the throat. All right, yeah, you're cool, man. You're a fish. Um, mm, he seems all right. We, we'll let him go. Yeah, pigeon pair. Nice cord and a nice snap. Send him, mate. How good's that? Boom. Coffee. Right, mate, come on. Be nice. I don't have a kill rag. Whoop, gone. Anyway, that lure wasn't doing anything. Jason, yeah. Jason was just busy catching his golden snapper, and the lure was just sitting in the water and bang. Just hooked up on the troll. It's probably either a cod or a goldie going off the rest of the day. You get a closer look at him, eh? A uh, little snap, I think. There we go, mate. Another little snapper. He's, he's He'll go home. Yeah. He'll go home. Yeah, I reckon we can upgrade on that. There we go. Another nice little snap on the troll, mate. See you later, buddy. Ah, uh, there he goes. <laughs> Probably gonna get baited any second. Yep. Yeah, you're right next to where I just was, man. This is smaller than what I just had on. Yeah, nice little snap. There we go. I don't know how many snapper that is today, but. See ya. <laughs> 
so that's pretty much it for the uh, bait fishing part of this video. We're pretty much done for the day. We're going to go check some crab pots now that have been in the water for oh, five years by the time we get there. Um, hopefully we're going to get a couple more crabs in the boat because we've only got the one good buck. So we'll see how we go. Plenty of golden snapper. Uh, lost that really nice fish that we're both pretty sure was a um, Queensland groper just from the way it fought. It was like trying to break train. Yeah, it was like trying to pull a brick through water. It was insane. Um, anyway, you get that sometimes. So we'll go check the pots and hopefully we've got some crabs to show you in a sec. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I'll uh, get in touch with you in a bit. Cheers. So how's this for Adventure Bound, eh? Yeah, crab pot is just there. No crabs in it. Bit disappointing. Um, so we might have to wait for the tide to come in a bit more, I think. I don't really feel like going knee deep in mud. Oh, I dropped it, man! I dropped it! Nah. I just instantly had a hook up on a barra. Instant. That, do you reckon that was legal? Yeah, you would have gone. That'll probably be the only fish here. Nah, there's gotta be more, man. Nah. I just blew it. I didn't even get it on film. I think I just got a little bit of the splash of it throwing the, look, the hook. So there's been a slight development. Um, we have drastically underestimated the tide. And we've... No, you <laughs> drastically underestimated the tide. Uh, and we've got crab pots that are not easily accessible to put it at the uh the least they're high so, and dry yeah very high and dry so now we're just killing some time uh flicking in some drains and stuff trying to find a barrel while we're waiting for some water to come back in i've uh actually already dropped one i don't know if i will have added that into the video because it only took about four seconds so you'd probably only see a splash of me losing something. Anyway, that was a nice little fish, probably legal. Um, so now we're just gonna keep doing this for another half an hour and hopefully there'll be enough water to get the crab pots because we're both busy people tomorrow. And we don't really wanna have to come back out here for a few crab pots. So it looks like it's gonna be a late night. Um, I'll uh, video uh us pulling up the pots if there's something in it otherwise this is where i'll leave you so i hope you enjoyed the video it's been a bloody long day we started packing the boat at quarter past eight and it's now 6 30. so you get that sometimes uh, anyway i'll catch up with you when i've got another video for you so thanks for tuning in and i'll see you in the next one cheers hang on look at the size of him he's missing his bottom core Hopefully you guys can make that out. It's very dark. We just pulled up a bloody ripper buck. Maltese cross on him and everything. He's really full. Definitely a legal crab. He's probably the same size as the one that we got earlier in the day. Tell you what, he's a lovely sight to see. Considering that we are still out here pulling up, pulling up pots. <laughs> What a day it's been, mate. Anyway, we'll keep cracking on.